Muy buenos días. Lección 25 para la primaria superior. Let's start out spelling some of these rooms of the house. Sala. S. And by the way, if you have a piece of paper, you can keep track of these things and do them along with me and total up some points for this session if you'd like. Try to stay ahead of me. Sala. En la sala no anda nada, solo un león. Sala. S-A-L-A. El comedor. Try to stay ahead of me. C-O-M. Comedor. Comedor. E. D. O. R. Or R. Baño. B alta. A. N. O. La cocina. C. O. C. I. N. Ah. And remember, a lot of times when we ask how something is spelled, we, we say, how is it written? ¿Cómo se escribe? And finally, esta habitación is... Well, there are different ways, and if you're ahead of me, I might be throwing you a curve. Recámara. No hay nada en la recámara. R, E, C, A, M, A, R, A. So this is one way to say bedroom, recámara. But when a word ends with a vowel, we usually put the accent on the second to the last syllable. Recamara. But that's not the way the word goes. We want recamara. So, we're going to write an accent mark over the third to the last syllable. Recamara. Now, let's imagine that we have una casa. I'd like you to draw this along and you can use it to score. You know, sometimes scoring really is a lot of fun. Just, you know, it just keeps track. It may not be a score. It may just be keeping track of your work. And it's, it's not a bad idea at all. But let's say that we have this casa here and we have an upstairs and a downstairs. So, we have this part here, which is arriba. Y arriba, y arriba, y arriba iré. All right, now, we're going to lay out these two floors, upstairs and downstairs. And downstairs. Okay, let's put la cocina arriba a la derecha. A la derecha. I'd be on this side. Arriba y a la derecha. I think that for the kitchen, I'll, I'm going to draw this symbol. Una nevera. Una nevera. There are different ways you can say this. There you go. And so that's our refrigerator. Our refrigerator-freezer combination. But in English, we call it a refrigerator. But really, it's a refrigerator-freezer. And in Spanish, we often call it a freezer. A nevera. Nevera, or refrigerador. Y vamos a poner abajo 
a, not arriba, abajo, la sala, a la izquierda, la sala, a la izquierda. Esta es la sala, a la izquierda y abajo. Ok, vamos a poner arriba, a la izquierda, una recámara. All right, I'm going to do mine. Esta es una cama. You just want to draw real simple. Don't make it complicated. Y la almohada. There. There's my cama. Vamos a poner abajo y a la derecha uh, el baño. A la derecha y abajo. And you probably started drawing. I'll draw mine. And there's the baño. This is an activity you can do on your own to practice. Let's move on. This is the question. ¿Quién soy? We're working with the question word again. ¿Quién? Who? Who am I? ¿Quién soy? For example, Yo soy de seis pies. Remember the word for foot? Pie? Yo soy de Seis pies. ¿Quién soy? Soy abuelita. Yo soy de cinco uno. Yo soy de cinco uno. O cinco una. Bueno, puede ser. Hermano o hermana. ¿Quién soy? Yo soy de cinco once. Yo soy de cinco once. Soy abuelo. ¿Quién soy? Soy de seis tres. Soy de seis tres. No soy nadie. Nobody. Nadie. No soy nadie. I'm not anybody. ¿Quién soy? Yo soy de cinco cuatro. ¿Quién soy? Soy yo. O oh, mamá. To say it's me, we say, basically, I am I. Soy yo. It's me. It's me. Soy yo. And if you want to stick around, I'm going to continue this for a few more minutes. On this one, I want you to write your answer, the name of the person, the family member. Here we go. ¿Quién soy? Yo soy de cuatro nueve.
Let's check it. Should have written hermanita. Yo soy de cinco pies. ¿Quién soy? Let's check it. Abuelita. Yo soy de cinco ocho. ¿Quién soy? Let's check it. How do we say it? Soy yo. If you remembered that, that really is great. Yo soy de seis uno. ¿Quién soy? Let's check it. Soy papá. Yo soy de cuatro ocho. Let's check it. Hermano. Yo soy de cinco cuatro. Let's check it. Soy mamá. Yo soy de cinco diez. ¿Quién soy? Hmm, let's check it. Nadie. Nadie. It's been great being with you again.